Okay, let's move in then uh, more into those after credit scenes. So oh, obviously yes. the big one has got to be the Adam. Uh, I I would I would disagree actually. Oh okay. So I would say and Arjuna, you touched upon this after we we watched the film and I completely missed it and then claimed I came up with it. So I'm gonna bring it up. Wow. Um, the Watchers. Oh, the Watchers. The yeah. Watchers have pretty much been officially confirmed mm-hmm. that they're around and hanging out in the DCU. For those that don't know, the, the, Watchers, the MCU. What did I say? The DCU. DCU. Whoa. Whoa. No, <laughs> DC comic movie. Oh, I don't blame it on myself. I blame it on how similar that these two universes are becoming. So really, it's your fault. <laughs> anyway, Tell me, do you bleed? <laughs> Jim <Jim-well. laughs> <laughs> Different universe. Uh, God damn it. Disney still. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the Watchers are basically um, bald aliens that look like you know Roswell type aliens, but bigger, mm-hmm. and they're kind of point in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is to kind of act as a help me out with the words they're kind of a chronicle chron- yeah chroniclers chroniclers yeah they're there to basically tell the story of the MCU now if you want to get kind of they're fourth wall breakers exactly if you want to get deep with it mm-hmm. think of them like and this is kind of what's cool is they put Stan Lee sitting with there and hanging out with them and Think of like Stan Lee as a watcher. He's kind of outside of the the MCU and the events that are happening, and he's telling us somebody once again even further out. Mm -hmm. The one thing that was kind of cool with adding Stan Lee and having him talk with the other watchers, there's there's theories going out there that he may be uh, one of the more famous watchers. Utapau. 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 That's not Utapau. Utapau is a prime Star Wars. 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 Yeah. He yeah. starts. He starts with a U. <laughs> um, but the, oh the theory gosh. is that the same Stanley that we've seen in all the cameos is a Watcher, and that scene is to signify that he's hanging out with the Watchers, telling his friendly Watchers of, "Hey, this is what I've seen," and and so forth. People are taking a step further to say, you know, Stanley is ninety four years old. He officially last year, 2016, said that he's kind of done with conventions, major, major, like the Comic-Con conventions. Yeah. He's done. Mm-hmm. He'll do the smaller ones here and there, but for the most part, he's taking a step back. He's an old guy. At some point, he will, you know, pass on. This is kind of a really nice way to kind of keep his legacy around is make him, Stan Lee, a watcher. He's the one that kind of, and I'm not saying that Stan Lee came up with all the Marvel stuff. I'm not saying everything Marvel is Stanley. No, not at I'm all. I'm saying he's a big person that is identified as a pop icon that relates to this and this I think is a nice way to kind of um, give his legacy and right. his legacy and right. immortalize well, like, him. Like put it this way, Stanley's more recognizable than like Ant Man, for example, right? There are mm-hmm. more people out there who knows who Stanley is than like more people yeah, who knew yeah, like yeah. the Ant the Ant Man story. Right. Or like the Guardian story before the movie came out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like a lot of people recognize, even if they're not big comic book fans mm-hmm. or yeah. movie fans, they know who Stan Lee is. Right. Um, it's Uatu. Watu. Oh, oh Watu. close yeah. enough. Watu. Oh, is he asking at the end of the scene, how am I getting back to Earth? Which would not kind of throw a wrench in that theory. Mm. I mean, you could say yes and no. I mean, maybe to go back on his assignment to watch. Maybe. I mean, he, maybe he doesn't know how he's getting back. I mean, where's right. his ship? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot. There's, I, his I, other watches. And that's the time. thing with Marvel is... The Marvel Cinematic Universe is so big, and even in the comics, it's so big. You can't give everything a reason, a rhyme and a reason. You just totally. have to kind of go with it and just let it be. And that's what's kind of cool with storytelling, right? Mm-hmm. If we knew the answer to every single question in a book or a story, it takes away from your own creativity and your own imagination. And your you're, interpretation. And your interpretation. Yeah. You're taking away half the story at, at that point. So Interesting. I kind of don't want anybody to ever come out and say... Yes, they are the Watchers. Yes, Stan Lee is... How do you say his name? Uatu. Uatu. I prefer if they ended it just like that, and you take it for what it is. Cool. I'm cool with that. That's cool. That so, was, the, to me, the biggest. So. The biggest. Interesting. Yeah. The Adam yeah. Warlock one, though, is yeah. pretty big, As because... We, and we mentioned this on a previous Lucy Right. Podcast, so, so, I mean, Adam Warlock has been kind of teased. Mm-hmm. He was teased in the first Guardians, um, when the collector's stash, his cocoon. The, a cocoon was seen that was sealed. Uh, oh. When you first see it, and then in the after card scene where you see Howard the Duck, it is open. Mm-hmm. So people were like, is that Adam Warlock's cocoon? 
Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but there's clearly a different cocoon with the sovereign Goldie people, uh, and they are making Adam Warlock. And Adam Warlock, as we talked about last week, is famous uh, in the Infinity Gauntlet uh, comic arc, you, you know, with um, with Thanos and everything. So interesting to see him introduced here. And uh, as James Gunn kind of confirmed, this movie takes place only a few months. That's After the first Guardian, so it's circa 2014, 2015. There's an article link in uh, the outline if you want to look at it. What, what, wow, technology in 2014, 2015 is so different. We had iPhone... Fives? Fives yeah. back then. Yeah. Now we have iPhone... Seven. So, you know, and but the rest of the MCU is in the, you know, theoretical current present, right? Uh or theatrical present. So when Infinity Wars Part One comes out, it'll be 2018, and we'll see guard the Guardians in there. Obviously, so it would be oh, four years, changed. four years after that second Guardians, which means Adam Warlock could somehow, maybe potentially, be involved involved in Infinity Wars. Maybe a Guardian. At the very least, he should be in Guardians Three in some way, shape, some, or form. Because he's being made, he's being made specifically by the Sovereign to to fight against the Guardians. Right? Yes. So technically, he's. It would be interesting they brought him into the uh, in Infinity Wars uh, thing because it seems like his first iteration would be to be fighting the Guardians. Maybe. Yeah. He he kind of switched. Yeah, I mean, I'm he's not. not sure. he, he he goes back and forth because he gets the Infinity Gauntlet at one point and that drives him mad and a bunch of other things. Yeah. So. Huh, interesting. And also, it's interesting enough. Um, I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, that was interesting enough. Awesome. A couple of the other scenes that were there. Um, Stakar, which is played by Celeste Stallone, he has a bunch of <laughs> Ravengers with him and says, Hey, we should all get back together. This is kind of a call out to the 1975 Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, this is the team, original crew. Which is the original, original yeah. crew. So before there was Star Lord Groot. Right. This, there were these guys actually, which right. is a, a so, glass faced person, a, uh-huh. a Wait. star type oh, okay. person. They're getting band back together. Are they a movie? Was it a movie? No, 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 no the comic. original comic. Oh. And uh, oh. and James James Gunn said you will see Sylvester Stallone and these this version of the Guardians in some future way, shape, or form. Now I don't know if they're gonna have a full movie or like a TV show well, or a special it's a, it's, or a it's, flashback or, or flashback. Guardians of the Galaxy Expendables. There you go. Uh, but yeah, because... Uh, <laughs> Where are they going? Stakar is, I think, Starhawk. I think Starhawk is his oh. superhero name. Wait, isn't Starhawk supposed to be Cyclops' father? Star- uh, Cyclops is an, um So I remember... Do you remember the animated X-Men TV show? <laughs> Uh, there's a whole arc where the X-Men go on oh, a spaceship yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like Cyclops' dad. Oh. And oh, I yeah. thought that might have been Starhawk. I, I could be completely, you know. But anyway, they, they, actually, they actually got really uh, famous actors... Quote unquote, well, pretty big name to play oh, those. Oh no, it's uh, Corsair. Yeah. Oh, that's to, uh, Cyclops is dead. They, yeah, they got okay. some pretty big name people to play those extra guardians. Vin Rames, um, play, played uh, one of those Ravager people. Miley Cyrus was the voice of the little box. Even, even, that, really? was yeah. Miley Cyrus. that was Miley Cyrus. Wow, well, good for her. Um, She's in the Marvel thank movie. You for just using her voice. TV TV Lex <laughs> Luthor was the glass guy. Yeah. Didn't even know. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, Remember, really we had am. talked about Michael Rosenbaum a, a few months ago yeah. being in Guardians oh, Two, and gosh, that, this was, that. Wow. this was his character. This was his character. That's awesome. They have a lot of big. And then the uh, the uh, without like with the glass face, the right? Guys with hair. And then Who the other the actress guy? that was Ben Rames. Rames. Who's Ben Rames again? Bing Rames. Bing. Um, he was in uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, he's been a oh, games. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been a bunch of stuff. Okay. okay. And then yeah, who was the other girl? The, the it was an older actress who's been in a bunch of things. I've recognized from like a bunch of TV roles. I forget her name, but she's pretty recognizable. So that they, they they cast people who you wouldn't just cast to be like an extra, essentially. Yeah, you and you would movie. assume it being Disney and the MCU, they probably signed on to like fifteen film contracts. Cool. And I don't then know, the, if I was somebody like that, I would honestly be like, you know what? Cast me in a little side role. I just want to be in one of these movies because it looks like it'd be fun. True. And make so, a lot of money. I, it, not for a side role. I mean, not necessarily. I think easy money. If I if I didn't have to worry about money like that, and I was already popular, famous, whatever, 
I would be like, sure, I'll do it. I don't even have to, you know, whatever. I just, I would like this small role. I think it would be fun. <laughs> so maybe. And then the other big scene was Craglin is practicing, obviously, with Yondu there. That was actually the first one oh, that, was yeah, that showed. And that was actually he, that was post, more comical than tracks. anything because he's practicing. Him and an emo group. He takes the arrow. Oh, yeah, and then the emo group one. Oh, the emo group just really And then emo group in his room saying that... You know, Star Lord is boring. It is little voice cracking. <laughs> I am <grew. laughs> It's perfect.